Alright, so ASL, I'm gonna do this extra card for you. So you got Okay, um you guys can get some extra credit and uh, I get brownie points. <laughs> I told people not to freaking chat your face in the Um, alright, this this sign of two theta um formula thingy. And uh, yeah, so the first thing is draw the triangle, which is kind of harder than So the first thing you need to uh, realize is this thing right here is isosceles, which means this is this, and this is theta here as well. Now pretend that um, this is one, which means this is one. That's uh, the first step. Now, oh yeah, this is two theta right here. Alright, so now the first thing is you need to find the stop, which for what you do is if you didn't realize this is a hypotenuse and this is the adjacent, so the trigonometric um, thingy that has that in there is cosine. So you say cosine of theta equals 2, 1 over, um, oh, max. Let's call it x, x over uh, 1. So it's x is the adjacent and one is the hypotenuse. So cosine of theta is x, which means that you can directly substitute this with cosine of theta. Same thing right here. Which means that this entire length of here is the same thing as 2 cosine of theta. Not to be confused with cosine of 2 theta, that's different. Alright? So now that you got that, oh by the way, name your is very important. Actually, I think you should call this B and this C and this C. My bad. Oh yeah, by the way, also if you watch this, try to kind of change it a little bit. Don't copy everything exactly. Like, don't copy the two cosine up here. That thing that's just for extra info. Try to cut shit out because she will notice that you guys copy if you do. So. I don't want you guys to get in trouble. Um, yeah, so now you have to find this right here. So what you do is, you realize that this, wait, let's get some color. We work with this cosine of theta, we work with this triangle right here, right? Oh man, that's so lucky. That's the end. Um, well, to find the big thing, I'm going to do the smaller one. But to find, we're going to use this big triangle right here now. This guy. So now, uh, cosine of theta, or not cosine, but right. um, we're going to use this big triangle to find this side, which is the opposite. And we have the hypotenuse given because this is the right angle of the big triangle. That's what's going on. So which one, which identity has the hypotenuse and the opposite? That's the sine. Sine equals the opposite, which is x, over the hypotenuse, which is 2 uh, cosine theta. Now, you want to solve for x, so we can directly substitute this into x, just like we did over here. Right? So sine of theta times 2 cosine x or theta, equals to x. See, I move this over here. Makes sense. All right. So you can now direct substitute. Uh, sine. Can you see all this? I hope so. Okay. It's not the marker I used before. I had bad experience with that other marker. This so you can't see it. Uh, sine theta times 2 cosine theta. All right. So now, you have the third triangle, which is the important triangle, because that's the triangle where you have your two theta. This guy right here, see this triangle? All right, we're focusing on that right now. This is where you have your two theta, which is your identity. That's what you need, right? And you are looking for, trying to prove, a sine of two theta, all right? So the sine of two theta opposite over hypotenuse, 
of sin is this guy right here. So it's sine of theta times 2 cosine of theta over hypotenuse, which is equal to 1. So therefore, sine of 2 theta equals to sine of theta times 2 cosine of theta, which is your identity. Alright? Yeah? Alright. So yeah, you can copy all this shit down. Um, try to be creative, do not try to see. I gotta stop. Bye.